Good morning guys and welcome back to day two of the Tuk Tuk tournament. So last night was wild, as you can hear from my voice, I don't really have much of a voice <laughs> this morning, but oh, such an epic night. Um, everyone that is involved in the tournament are such cool people, I got along with them great. In today's adventure, today's adventure we have to head south to a place called Marissa, so it's pretty much as south as you can go on, um, on Sri Lanka and we have to complete like quests and challenges along the way so but this isn't like the proper tournament day so the proper tournament day starts tomorrow so this is kind of like a practice day but we if oh what was it if the team that finishes the challenges first they get a whole bottle of gin <laughs> so there is so much to this tournament though so yesterday they like introduced everything and like there's we they have their own app there's a quest book there's a manual like there's just there's so many rules like i i have a pretty good understanding of it all i won't explain it all at the moment um because just my voice is a bit iffy so i'll probably explain it at the end of today um but yeah we're probably gonna head off in the next hour or so and begin the adventure so let's do it guys and cue that intro Yo! Have fun. All right, so we're off on our first big drive down to Marissa, um, and there's a place we got to get to. It's not too far from Marissa, and where we got to complete a few challenges. So, as I said, this is just a practice day. So, in this little booklet, we got to do a couple things. Um, we got to locate something on a map, and then buy a few things for like a Colombo Seven Gin Drink. <laughs> the first challenge is getting onto the main highway. So, should be fun. <laughs> I feel like being around this area is going to be the worst of our trip because there is just cars everywhere. Oh, we stole it. <laughs> There's just cars everywhere and it's quite chaotic. But once we get out of like the towns and stuff and start, start getting out in the open, open areas, then it's going to be so much better. So the legal speed speed limit you can go throughout Sri Lanka in a tuk-tuk is 40 kilometers. So it is quite, quite slow. <laughs> it's just like 40 k's now. Um, and the tuk-tuk rental place so even supplied their own speaker. So we're going to play some tunes. Righto, so I've already stuffed up and made one mistake. So I, I put in the maps to go to the place we need to get to. But I forgot to like say no toll roads and it was taking us to like one of the main highways which is a toll road so we're gonna have to detour back along the coastline road and take that and now it's going to be like a three hour journey <laughs> all right so this is how we drive the tuk tuk so first of all you gotta make sure it's in neutral and then you just turn on the ignition give it just a little bit of rev when you turn it on And to put it in reverse, there's, there's like this leader here. So you've got to lift up this leader and then hold in the clutch, stick it in a second, plunges in a second. And you got to like slowly let it out. But the gears are pretty interesting in this, like, it's, it's, it's gears like a motorbike. But you've got to twist the handle to change change into the gears. Continue on A2 for 60. There we go. Yeah, so that's it. You just got to hold in the clutch, give it a bit of rev, twist it to change the next gear, and then you're on your way. And all, and all the breakers is just this, just the pedal. And that's it. It's pretty simple, actually. Do 
now I'm back on the main highway going down the coast and it's so much slower. There's just traffic everywhere, it's chaotic. I cannot decide because I'm sober tonight. These are the elephant carvings, so this is what it starts off as, and then these are like the three stages it comes down to. This, this, and this little thing. How cool are the decorations? Pretty amazing. Right, so we completed our first challenge. It was actually fairly easy. All, all we had to do was go in. Um, it was a guy doing wood carvings, and he was carving the wood into elephants. It was really pretty, uh, unique, actually. So we just had to take a photo of like the three stages of the elephant carving and then get another photo with him. He said he could make about 20 of those elephants each day. And now we gotta go to the next place. So we gotta go to a market. We gotta go to some market around this area and pick up some spices. So let's find a market in your local area and locate at least three of the four native spices used to make a Colombo 7 gin. So, let's see if we can find that. Hello. 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 Where are you from? Scotland. Ah, what do you want? Australia. What do you want? Uh, we're looking, do you have cinnamon bark? You have cinnamon, cinnamon bark. Cinnamon, cinnamon bark, what do Cinnamon bark. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, what Pella Road? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. All right, another challenge completed. So there was a shop just down there, and he had everything. <laughs> he must, they must wonder what the heck we're doing because we're not even buying it. We literally just need to find those items and take a photo of it, um, and then we'll. We'll go see what the next one is, but I think we have to drive to another spot and find something else. So this is the lovely weather we're dealing with at the moment. Just been raining most of the day. Absolutely miserable. To top it off, it's stuck in traffic. 400 metres, turn left onto Circular Road. The best one because yeah, yeah. this depends on your own luck in your tournament. Oh, okay. oh, so these are the ones we trade. Alright, so we've come to our last challenge. All you had to do was come to a hostel and collect this coconut. So I think when we do the tournament, we can like do five different exchanges. So we have to exchange this coconut for something else and exchange whatever that is for another thing. And apparently, the best, like, thing that is exchanged in the end you get like a set certain amount of points um, as you can see it's very dark right now like we're not even in marissa yet it's probably still another 30 30 minutes there or something um but we're probably going to get a feed or head straight to the hostel and yeah just go go from there is this all yours <laughs> what thank you that's so much Thank you. Uh, no, I don't want chili. Yes, we made it to our hostel in Marissa. Finally, that was such a freaking long day. Like, it's, it's almost 8.30 p.m. now. This is so much longer than we expected it to be. But come check out where our hostel is located, guys. Like right out here we're like three stories up is right next to the beach you can't really see it because it's too dark but you can hear it the beach is just down there and i think this is going to be a good spot for the sun sunrise so i'll try to get up for sunrise tomorrow morning um, but overall today has been a pretty good day i feel considering the weather conditions because just 
it was it was crap weather. Like it was raining majority uh, majority of the day, um, but we managed to fight through all the traffic and power through the rain and managed to get here and complete our challenges along the way. Um, so, on that note, I will inform you more of what this tournament is about and like how we get points to win. So. I said a little bit in my previous video that yeah there is points involved but this is the book we have here so we got we got two books one's oh well so we got this one looks really cool this is the quest book so the quest book shows it, it's, it's right so the quest book shows like different things to complete and how many gems and stuff you'll get but this book is actually pretty much the same, but it's just more detailed. So in this book, this is all the challenges we have. There is a ridiculous amount of challenges. So each day we can just go through them um, and just kind of pick one. So like these ones, this, these are food. So we'll have to find a place where we can eat cheese kotu. And then we'll have to ha put that hashtag on our Instagram uh, with a photo of us eating that and that will give us one gem but some of these you can do a max per tournament or a max per day and then like there's, there's just ridiculous amounts <laughs> there's um there's this one <laughs> use the squat toilet i don't know how we're supposed to show how we use a squat toilet uh what else have we got um getting a shave get a pedicure Oh, da, 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 da. make a tournament song so some of these ones are a bit harder than others but you get a lot more points so if you make a tournament song you get 20 gems and yeah, what, what else we got so story of the day story of the day is each team should post one story of the day to whatsapp and i think like the winning team for each day for a great story can get five gems and if we pick up a local or pick up a tourist in a tuk-tuk, we will get five gems as well. Uh, what other ones? Cleaning a tuk-tuk. Oh, this one's cool. Ice cream tuk. Drive an ice cream tuk. Tuk-tuk and deliver ice cream. Oh, there's just, there's so many guys. There's, there's freaking heaps, heaps of different ones. Uh, but we're going to have to sort of pin out a route of where we're going to go oh yeah and along with these challenges there's the quest as well so they um the tuk tuk rental company supplied a app like they made up their own app and have all different quests on the app so these quests is it's sort of we just drive to these places get a photo of something um and we those little wooden tuk tuks we painted we have to hold that in each photo too to like be approved uh, what else? Yeah, but seriously, the, this app is so well thought through. <laughs> like, it even shows every single team member on the app, so we can see where everyone is. Um, and, and people haven't even arrived here yet. Like, it's it's eight thirty, and people are like halfway. They're gonna rock up so late. But yeah, we'll probably suss out a route to see which places are the best places to go. Um, and tomorrow will be the actual tournament day. So that's going to be the official tournament day where we begin. It's going to be like kind of an early start too. So I think we begin at 8.30 and then we can just do our own routes. But we, within after five days, we have to meet in, a, everyone has to meet in a certain spot. Um, and that's where we have like a mid party. But yeah, that's it guys. So that's pretty much the whole tournament. Um, like the basics of what we're doing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today. It's been quite an adventure, and all I can say from here is thanks for watching. Follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I'll see you on day three of the Tuk Tuk Tournament. See you then.